Kumusta mga exile? Game Ross here. Welcome to another episode of my budget build guide. And today I'm gonna talk about my hollow palm technique, Ice Crash Raider. Now with hollow palm, uh, one of the ways you can use this is by getting this one with nothing cluster jewel. And with hollow palm, uh, you need to be unencumbered. And to do that, you cannot use gloves, main hand and off hand. And as you can see, I'm not using any of those. And while unencumbered, you are considered as dual wielding. You have 60% more attack speed and added physical damage per dexterity. That's why in this build, we're going to stack as many dexterity as we can. And for the gears, um, the only unique gear that I'm using in this build is this Cyclopean Coil Leather Belt, which gives me percent increased attributes which means more dexterity and this one percent increased damage per five of your lowest attribute and in my case is this intelligence which gives me 10 24 24 increased damage from this belt so yeah this belt gives you lots of damage and yeah this is the only unique gear and for the rare gears uh for the helmet you can simply use this Starcona head, which gives you lots of dexterity and attack speed. And the only reason I'm using a rare helmet because I'm I want a little bit more of chaos resistance. And yeah, for the rare gears, just look for high life resistances, uh, strength, and intelligence for your gem requirements. And for this amulet, I anointed this with versatility, which gives me attack speed, accuracy and more dexterity and intelligence and for this you're gonna need two verdant oil and one opalescent oil and oh yeah as many dexterity as you can find because it will give you more damage and for these boots get this attack speed enchantment and for the rings use unset rings because as you can see you don't have a lot of sockets so unset rings are very important and yeah those are my gears and for the flask i'm using silver flask for increased damage jade flask of acceleration for evasion rating and attack speed a serious promise for extra chaos damage and life leech and lion's roar for more armor and more melee physical damage and for the gem setups on my body armor, I'm using Ice Crash, Multi Strike, Elemental Damage with Attacks, Melee Physical Damage, Fortify, and Concentrated Effect. Now, just a little advice uh, use pure armor based body armor so you can easily roll this five red sockets and one blue socket. Because, to be honest with you, I spend lots of chromatic orb rolling this color sockets. So yeah, use a pure armor base body armor. And yeah, on my boots, I'm using Wave of Conviction with Hex Touch, Frostbite, and Blood Rage. On my rings, I'm using Hatred and Summon Skitterbots. And on my helmet, I'm using Smoke Mine, Ancestral Protector, Ancestral uh, Ball, Ancestral Warchief, and Culling Strike. For the Pantheon, I'm using Soul of the Brine King for 2 seconds stun immunity and Soul of Garukan for more chance to evade attacks and increase movement speed. For the Ascendancy, I'm using Raider and I'm using Rapid Assault and Avatar of the Chase which basically gives you permanent onslaught buff that gives you 50% increased attack speed and movement speed and this will give you 35% more chance to evade melee attacks and projectile attacks and also i'm using this way of the poacher which gives you chance to gain frenzy charges and one to maximum frenzy charges and lastly is this avatar of the slaughter which gives you increased evasion rating movement speed attack speed and attack damage per frenzy charge for the bandit quest kill all bandits for two additional skill points and for the skill tree Get this acrobatics and face acrobatics for more chance to dodge attack and spell hits. And get this nodes here for additional frenzy charges. And this for accuracy. 
and this will give you lots of dexterity and this will give you basically more defense and this is where i put my hollow palm technique and this ambidexterity will still apply to you because you are considered as dual wielding and and this for life and mana leech and this for more frenzy charges and the only reason i'm using this node is because i'm a little short with my elemental resistance and this fluid motion jewel will transform these nodes here to dexterity which means more damage but if you're short with your strength uh, you don't have to use this jewel this is just optional and if you're still short with your strength and intelligence you can always get these nodes here and these nodes here and yeah i think that is all i can say about this build thank you guys for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel stay safe mga exile at magkita na lang tayo sa susunod na video